Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks, and today we're going to take a look at the freemama.com webpage. And the reason why is there was a couple people in the group that were having trouble accessing the images and getting um, the font picker tool, the um, font ninja to work and things like that. So I took a look at it and I just want to go over a few things just to uh, clear up what's really going on on this site. So we're going to go here first, the thefreemama.com and it'll open up this page for us. And in fact, let's uh, take off everything that uh, Facebook appends here at the end and just hit return, make sure we got the page. Now here's where the real problem comes in. Turns out what they did is they built this funnel page inside of ClickFunnels and then they took the embed code and they stuck it into her WordPress blog. And the reason why is because her WordPress blog already has this domain, the freemama.com, and they didn't want to create a new domain inside of ClickFunnels or anything else. So that's completely cool. And a lot of people are doing that. So let me show you what we can do here. Let me just right click on this and we're going to go to view page source. And here, you're not going to see a whole lot because this is the most important line right here, this iframe saying that we're putting an iframe, also known as an inline frame. And what we want to do is we want to embed this page right here, which is the ClickFunnels page. We want to embed that into the site, into this WordPress blog page. And you can tell it's WordPress always. If you ever come in here and you look at any code and it says WP-content or wp dash you know, admin or config or anything like that, WP dash anything will always tell you that it is a WordPress uh, blog and that's where they're embedding this thing. So let's go back here. Let's go back to this page. Now, one thing you could do in order to find the images on this page, you could right click and you could go view frame source instead of view page source. But most of the time you're going to kind of miss that. And so um, that will bring you here. And this will give you the actual code for that page. And here it is. You can see that it's ClickFunnels right up here. And so here is the HTML code for that page. Or you could come back to the original view source we had and you could click right here. And that also will then show us all the HTML code for that page. And you see up here at the top, this is clearly their ClickFunnels account with the free mama as the uh, subdomain for their ClickFunnels account. So you could come into the page right here and search through the code and you can find your icons. I write down here, link rel equals icon and you can go through the whole thing and try to find all of those images throughout the page. But then let me show you the way I like to do this. Well, in fact, before we do that, let me show you how they set this up inside of ClickFunnels, as long as we're talking about how they did the iframe and all that. So let's go into ClickFunnels itself. You can pull up any old page. It doesn't matter. And we have two choices here. You can click here to download the HTML code and you can do that. And I, uh, I did that over here and here's the HTML code. So if I right click on it and say open, what it should do is open up a new page and it will give me this little opt-in box that I have right here. Well, what I did then is so I said, okay, well, let's see, what do we got to do to download this as HTML? Because I'd never done it before to uh, download an HTML file like that. So I went over here to W3 schools and I pulled up what they say in order to do it. And I looked at it here. So we got our HTML file right here. So that would represent what our page would look like. And then we have this bit of uh, HTML code you would put in. And then you had all this JavaScript that you have to put in. And then down here at the very bottom, you have where you call this here's a function up here. So down here in the script, you call this function. And I was like, man, it seems like an awful lot of work. So we're going to go with the plan that they used when they built this site. And it's just simply right here. We just say embed code. We click on that and we copy out that embed and we'll copy that there. So now if we go back into the original page source here, which was right here, you're going to see that this code I have once I paste it back in or well, let's just go back here. This code besides the URL here looks very similar to this line right here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into a blog that I have and all we're going to do here is we're just going to grab an HTML element and we're going to drop in that HTML element. And then in here, the general box is going to pop up. We're going to put in 
that iframe code that we just pulled out and boom, automatically there it is right on the page. So that's how simple it is. You just grab that out of, you grab this code out of ClickFunnels, you go into your blog, you put in an HTML element and you paste in that, that code. And I can save it here of course too. And then I will click on done and we'll publish that page. And here we have that HTML code now right here, right in the middle of our page. So now let's go back into the free mama page itself. So like I said, you can go and you could view the page. Let's right click here again. We can view the page source or we can view the frame source. Either one is okay if you want to go into the code and try to find it that way. Now, that's not my favorite way of doing any of this kind of stuff. So let's close this down. First thing, when you come into a site, just take a look at the images. If you can grab a hold of the image and go like this, you know it's an image. So the first thing we could do, and I'll show you a bunch of different ways on how to save these. So we can right click here and we can say copy image address, or we can say save image as. So let's just do save image as first and it should pop up a dialog box. We will say save, and it will drop it down here at the bottom. I also think, yeah, and it will show up right over here on the desktop. Second way we could do this, we can copy the image address, and then we can open up a new page, or new tab, and we will paste that in. And then we can just grab this image, and we can just pull it over here to the side. That's the second way of doing it. Third way of doing it is just to come in here and just grab a hold of the image itself and just pull it over and just drop it onto your desktop. So now we have three different versions of the same one and three different ways that we pulled it off the site. So again, you can just grab this image and pull it over and drop it there. And we can grab one more image and drop it there. Now the problem you're going to have in the background here is um, th this gal here in the back, we can't pull that anywhere because this is a background image. So what we're going to do is we are going to right click on this and we're going to come down and we're going to say inspect. Okay, now right here I happen to land inside of the container itself. A lot of times, especially if you right click here in the middle, let's right click here, you're going to end up like down here, well in this case here I ended up on a column, and there's a column above it, and then a row, a lot of times you'll end up in the row. What you need to do is you need to come up and you need to find the container it's inside of. So this is a section right here that you would have put into ClickFunnels, and then you build your rows and your columns and your elements and everything inside of that. So this is the section itself. And that's where this image is going to reside. And you can see it right here it says URL, blah, 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 blah. But the easiest way to find this is just click on this container on this section right here and then come down. And here in the styles, you can find the image right there. Also over here in the, um, oh, I forget what they call this section. But either way, you can find the images right here. So there's a couple different things we can do here. Let's see if we click on this image, what happens. Okay, it highlights it and we can copy it. Well, we don't really need to do that. What we can do though is right click and we can say copy the link address. And then again, we'll come up, open up a tab. We will paste in that link image and go there. And so now here we are, we have our image. So now we can take this image and we can pull it over and we can drop it over here on the side. And it's going to come in as a, w, as a WEBP file. It's also known as a WEBE file. And what this is, is something that was created by Chrome that what they'll do is as they come through your page and they render it onto the site, what they'll do is they'll take like a PNG or JPEG or whatever, and they'll turn it into this webby format in order to make it load faster. So it's actually Chrome helping you out. So, so if you're not on Chrome, you're not going to see this ever. So if you're on Safari or IE or something else, you won't ever run into this problem. But we're going to show you how to fix that in a minute because you can't upload this file type into click funnels. But while we were still in here, I just wanted to show everybody something. We'll just scroll down and uh, we're going to go all the way up to the top. Now remember we put this in here as an iframe and you can tell that by here you see your head code and you have your body code and then inside of that body code we have this iframe right here and that represents this line of code right here is everything from here down represents that iframe. And you'll see here the line above it is where we had our WP content, and that associates with this line of code right here above it. So that's where that comes from. So now let's take a look at what do we have to do to clean up this 
particular image. And where we're going to go is we're going to go to easygif.com. And we're going to tell it we want to do a WBP. I can, I can never say that. I can see why they called it Webby. Um, so they call it Webby. And we want to go from Webby to a JPEG. We don't want a PNG because it's not transparent background, so you don't need it to be a PNG. And JPEG files are smaller than PNG files, so it'll load faster. Now, there's one or two ways we can put this in here. We can... I already, I already have that, um, that link uh, copied, so I can just paste in that link, and we could put that right there because we had copied it out of the code over here. We had copied that out, so we, we could just dump that in there, or we can grab a hold, and we can pull it over, and we can say choose file, and I'm going to click on upload, and we'll see if it blows up because I have it in there twice. And no, it didn't. It, it did it just fine. So once it loads up the image, we come over here. We say we want to convert this to a JPEG file. And it always takes a little bit to load up, of course. And then once it is done, what you do is you just grab a hold of the image and you pull it off to the side again. There's no download button or anything like that. You just grab it and drop it over here onto your desktop. So that's it. That's how you can get all these images off half a dozen different ways. And the reason why all this began was because there was a debate over whether or not you could just right click, get in here, grab the images because it was inside of an iframe. And how it works, as you can see right here on the page, whenever you do an iframe, you still have to take all that code that's at ClickFunnels, all that HTML code has to still be put on here because the computer, your browser needs all of that information to be able to draw the page. It needs the HTML, it needs the CSS, it needs the JavaScript, it needs all of that right here inside of the browser in order to make your page look right. So whether you go to the iframe itself or if you stay on this page, you can right click, come in, do your inspecting, find all the images that you need right here in the code, and it makes it really short, sweet, and simple. Or, like I just showed you, just drag them off to the side. But the ones that you can't drag, again, right-click, find it in the code, copy-paste, and you're done. So if you've got any questions, feel free to reach out. Have a great day.